normally condoms are known to prevent uh, unwanted pregnancies and sexually transmitted diseases now these condoms are proved to prevent women from excessive bleeding after delivery our reporter victor maturi has more on that story <music> This is Bokoli village in Bongoma County, which has a population of more than one million people, majority of them being farmers. Transport is difficult in this area due to mountains, valleys, and poor roads. My mission here is to witness a new technique used to stop women from excessive bleeding after giving birth using a simple and avoidable innovation. <laughs> The ordinary condom is inflated and inserted in the birth canal and to the uterus to stop the bleeding. Yes. Meet Feni Mkwana, who is 17 years old and a mother of one, who escaped death by a whisker following bleeding after giving birth. When I was about to deliver, my mother took me to a private doctor because public nurses and doctors were on strike. And so I delivered well, but now after a few minutes, I started excessive bleeding. Personally, I didn't know what was the problem, and from there I don't know what happened. My mother can explain better. <laughs> Few minutes after she delivered, she started shivering and bleeding severely. Since I was born, I have never seen that. Susan, Feni's mother, decided to seek further treatment for her daughter at Bokoli Hospital, which is located a few kilometers from their home. Mary Wakesa is the nurse who served Feni at Bokoli Hospital. Arriving at the hospital, the only nurse we found tried to attend to her. I saw the nurse inserting a balloon into her birth canal. I have never seen such kind of a method before. So the nurse pushed and pumped in water and few hours later, the bleeding had stopped. If it were not for the nurse, my daughter wouldn't have been alive today. They told me they used a balloon to stop the bleeding and that I was the first one to use it in this region. They pumped water inside my uterus as the balloon expanded in the uterus, causing the bleeding to stop. Before this discovery that an inflated condom can stop bleeding, Doctors were forced to remove the uterus to stop bleeding to death. Insert using this rare hand. Of course, after meeting a vaginal examination to ascertain where the cervix was, and so I ended the, the balloon. So after fixing it until it, I realized I was meeting resistance, I inflated with 15 ml of water to, to balloon it to remain in position. So after that, I started putting the water uh, using the 60 ml syringe one by one until when I reached 360 I met resistance. It reduced gradually, slowly by slowly, and up to about one hour it had reduced completely. The World Health Organization postpartum hemorrhage report of the year 2012 indicates that postpartum hemorrhage affects approximately 2% of all women who give birth. The report further indicates that one in four women in the world die due to complications at childbirth. Kenya Demographic and Health Survey 2014 indicates that although Kenya's maternal mortality rate has reduced from over 590 in the 90s to 362 per 100,000 women in 2014, Kenya did not attain the Millennium Development Goals number 5 on maternal health by the end of the year 2015. However, Kenya is among the top 10 countries in the world with the highest burden of maternal mortality. This technique was introduced in Kenya for the first time in the year 2012 by Kisumu Medical and Education Trust in a collaboration with Massachusetts Hospital in the United States of America. Put a 
to five, 300 to 500 mils of water. That should be enough for the uterus. But because we are not doing any measurement to the uterus, we are advised to push in water until you meet a resistance. There's pressure in the uterine wall. So as you push, the balloon is getting bigger and touching the walls of the uterus so that we get the pressure I've been talking about. So the weight of the water will cause the pressure and then the ligatures will constrict and bleeding will stop. So we are going to leave this in for a minimum of 6 hours and a maximum of 24 hours or even 36 hours. Despite condoms being well known for protection of sexually transmitted diseases and family planning, they are now helping to stop excessive bleeding in women after giving birth. The kit which comes with this method costs only $10, which is equivalent to 1,000 Kenyan shillings. At least 350 women have benefited from this method in 15 counties, and it is expected to be availed across the country next year. When we introduced the uterine balloon tamponade, we found out that a few people were resistant. They were wondering how it could really save a woman until they used it or had a testimony from a fellow health provider. And we've not had very difficult time with the community because normally the hemorrhage or the bleeding happens when the woman is in the facility and she's at the verge of death. According to Sustainable Development Goals, Kenya should ensure healthy lives and promote well-being of all at all ages by the year 2030. Only a half of women in developing countries receive the recommended amount of health care they need. Almost 2,000 women die in Kenya every year due to excessive bleeding after birth. The uterine balloon tabernet is a new discovery which is a relief to mothers. The Kenya public health sector should embrace and introduce these innovative measures to all health facilities in the country. This will reverse the burden of maternal deaths, especially now the health sector has lost a lot of gains during the doctors and the nurses' strikes. Victor Moturi, Ebru TV, Bungoma County.